Hi, I'm Dr. Charlie Peterson. Today I want to talk about the accounting cycle process using the Peterson Matrix, the matrix that has evolved from my program. The Peterson Matrix is the big picture of accounting basics. So you'll be able to see the whole complete uh, accounting process in this particular diagram. I want to talk about the different things in it. All right, the first thing that I want to refer to is the ledger. You'll notice we have the ledger here, and we put the financial statements over here. But let's first talk about the ledger. Uh, the ledger consists of five general categories of T accounts. And you'll notice that if you were to connect the center point of each one of these T accounts, you would make a backward C. It's the important learning tool in my program. Now we have to use accounting terms now to define what each one of these T accounts is. Asset liability, owner's equity, revenue, and expense. Every single account, every single number in accounting will go into one or more of these five general categories of uh, accounts, no exception. Now we need to come up with a clear definition of what an asset, liability, owner's equity, revenue, and expense is. If you were to turn to uh, a typical accounting text and look up the word asset, it would say something like an economic resource designed to provide future value. Well, unfortunately, I think that's where confusion in accounting begins. So I've endeavored to uh, reduce these to one and two word definitions that we can visualize. An asset is something that I use in the business. We use buildings, we use trucks, we use cash. These are examples of assets. A liability is something that we owe in the business. If you go to the bank and borrow money, you owe it. If you use your charge card, you owe it. Owner's equity is what you own in the business. This is where the owner's portion of the business resides. Owner's equity consists of two accounts, one for your investment and one for collecting revenues and, ex uh, I'm sorry, um, losses and profits. Down here we have revenue. Revenue is what we earn in the business. You earn revenue by say taking people for rides in your taxi and collecting a fare, or if you're an accountant, you provide uh, accounting services and collect a fee. This is your reason for being in business. And then finally, expense is what you use up to earn the revenue. If we're talking about the taxi company, things that get used up are like oil and gas, the driver's time, uh, and so forth and so on. Asset, what we use, liability, what we owe, owner's equity, what we own, Revenue, what we earn, and expense, what we use up. Remember, every single number in accounting will be uh, included in one or more of these five general categories. No exception. Now, we know that some accounts record increases on the left side, and some accounts record increases on the right side. So the way the backward C is set up, we have assets and expenses, which are on the left side of the ledger, record increases on the left side of their accounts. Liability, owner's equity, and revenue are on the right side of the ledger, and they increase on the right side of the account. So it's really easy to remember where pluses and minuses go. Just quickly sketch the backward C, and you have it. You don't have to memorize it. You can just visualize it. Now, the purpose of the ledger is to collect every single number. So once all the numbers are collected in the ledger and the accounts balance, that becomes step number one of the matrix matrix process. Now step number two, we're going to start working on the income, the uh, financial statements. We, the income statement appears here because it is opposite to the accounts that flow into it. We see that revenue account flows in here, expense here, and when we subtract the two we come down to our profit or net income. Revenue is what we earned, expense what we used up, and the net income or profit is what's left over. The income statement is like a movie. It's for a period of time, and it shows profitability over time. We want to make sure that we remember that it is a period of time. Once the income statement is completed, we have completed step number two. The net income belongs to the owner. So step number three is to simply add the net income to the owner's account, owner's equity. Or if it happens to come out to be a net loss, it's going to go on the negative side of owner's equity. Right, we've transferred the net income to the positive side. That's step number three. Now we're ready to prepare the balance sheet. 
The balance sheet uses the remaining uh, three cate general categories of accounts, and we set up an equation, assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity. All right, assets equal li The balance sheet is as a point in time. It's like a snapshot. I like to think of it as a snapshot. Assets are what we use. Liabilities are what we owe. Owner's equity is what we own. So the definition of a balance sheet then is it shows what we use, which are the assets, and how the ownership is divided between the owner and who the owner owes money to call creditors. Once we've completed this financial statement, step number four is completed. And finally, the output of the income statement in the balance sheet represents step number five. So we started with numbers in, financial statements out. This is the complete accounting cycle process. And we simply repeat this over and over and over again, just adding detail to it but holding the process intact. If you have any questions, please contact me on my website. I'd be glad to talk with you or write with you. And uh, if you know of any friends or colleagues that could, might benefit from these presentations, please turn them on to it, www.dudewheresmyprofit.com. And thank you for viewing.